I'm going to now put the spotlight on a startup called Morglix. Now, Morglix uh, seems to have a lot of marquee investors. Ratan Tata, Axel, Jungle, now even Sequoia Capital. In fact, we've got Morglix to our studio after it raised $60 million in Series D funding round. This funding round has been led by Tiger Global and Sequoia Capital as well as Composite Capital. Morglix is a B2B commerce firm, is a supplier of industrial tools like hand tools, power tools, electrical, safety equipment. Like I told you, it's already been backed by marquee investors like Ratan Tata, Axel as well as Jungle Ventures. So let's uh, now invite uh, the founder right here on Startup Central. Uh, He's the founder and CEO, Rahul Garg. Uh, thanks, Rahul, for taking the time out and joining us here. Congratulations. Uh, Series D funding that is out of the way. Uh, how much did you raise? What are you going to do with all of this money? So, firstly, thanks for inviting us to the show. Uh, uh, this is definitely a significant amount of capital and endorsement that we have received. Uh, taking almost the funding that uh, Moglix has raised, close to $100 million. If you look at it, we started with a very simple mission. Can we reimagine B2B commerce with technology? We noticed back in 2015, the amount of innovation that has happened in the consumer commerce was far ahead of what has happened in the B2B space. And manufacturing sector, which is close to 18 to 20% of our GDP, is still not getting the best of the technology coming to their doorsteps. So, Moglex starts to become a preferred partner for manufacturing companies looking at how they can have the same kind of commerce experience being delivered at their doorsteps by one-stop Moglex as a shopping platform. Uh, this funding we are looking at uh, in three different ways. Uh, we today are present in 14 major industrial hubs across the country, but we think that there are close to 25 to 30 major industrial hubs that we need to continue to expand our logistics and supply chain and we are going to go after and make our presence felt in all of these locations. Second, we continue to work with a massive number of manufacturing plants as well as supplier ecosystem. Just to give an indication, today Moglix is power more than 1000 plus manufacturing plants which are across automotive sector, steel, mining, pharma, chemical, you name an industrial sector and we are serving them today. And this is only possible by having more than 5,000 plus suppliers which might be coming from the likes of Chabdi Bazaar and Lohar Chal in Mumbai. And we need to continue to invest into technology to enable this ecosystem to become efficient, automated, as well as delivering to the right customer experience. Okay. But, you know, I want to ask you some other questions, uh, Rahul. You know, you've already obviously done something which has impressed uh, a lot of investors, a lot of marquee names. So let me now uh, lean on your expertise. And for any one of you entrepreneurs and startups watching, can you first tell me, you know, you've, you've been back for, for someone like Ratan Tata. How did you even get in touch with Ratan Tata? How did that work? How did you pitch to him? Tell us how that one happened and then we'll talk about, uh, again, the Series D funding. So I think we have been fortunate when we started in 2015, B2B was uh, not a very sexy space to start with and combined with manufacturing where not many startups have been built. So uh, when we started with the simple mission, we want to reimagine B2B commerce and go after looking at how manufacturing and technology can come in one sentence. We felt that one person who was iconic to this was Mr. Tada and we were fortunate to have some of our investors having him as advisor. So just to name here, Mr. Tata is a advisor on Jungle Ventures board. So we got an opportunity to present to him. It was a phenomenal experience just spending that 30 minutes presenting to him and talking about what we are trying to do and how we are bringing the technology and efficiency into a sector which he's very, very passionate about. And I, I, I believe that did the trick. So, so he wrote a check for us way before we were launched as well. Rahul, 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 you got 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes with Ratan Tata, primarily thanks to Jungle Ventures, which was already uh, backing you. Uh, if you don't mind, and for everybody who's watching this show, can you tell us in those 30 minutes, uh, did he cross-question you, the kind of stuff that he asked you, or do you think you know Jungle had already done all most of the work for you by pitching to him beforehand? 
so i would say that i would be very very humble uh, spending that 30 minutes uh, speaking to him about what we are building and these are early days where i think india distribution was still in infancy gst was nowhere in sight and just talking about what we want to do with the sector what we want to do on the distribution i believe uh, he was very engaged in the conversation he talked about many of the different facets and challenges and opportunities that might come our way and uh, we kept on learning from that conversation and answering to the best of our ability okay so now ladies and gentlemen the street cred of uh, uh, moglix is on your screen like i said marky name sequoia tiger axel jungle uh, i see to just to name a few of them so rahul i've got to ask you this uh, what makes a good pitch you obviously know the secret of making a good pitch good business model granted but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make a good pitch right what makes a good pitch so i think uh, there is a uh, pitch is a second portion of what you do i think the first important question to ask is are you clear about what is the space you want to go after why you want to go after that space as well as what is the problem that exists and what is the solution that you are going to go after so i think having a clarity as an entrepreneur on all of those four elements is probably the most important question because pitch is going to be reflective of the clarity of thought that you bring to the table and bring to that conversation because you are going to have the 30 minute you may have at best one hour and uh, that is the time you got to make your intention and uh, also impress upon the clarity you bring to the space and the problem you are willing to solve and uh, you know before i let you go rahul i want to also ask you is um, because you've done it and you this is your d series right uh, having said that when should one go in for funding so i think it's a very uh, subjective question because it a lot depends on the space and uh, what is the kind of scale that you're looking to build in our case we went for uh, funding uh, very very early because we realized if we were to transform the distribution sector in the country we would need capital and it cannot be uh, happening without getting access to venture fund and helping us to build the right team the right infrastructure that is required to go after the space so i would say it depends on the space that you are going after and therefore the idea space problem solution probably should determine what kind of capital you should raise and when you should raise it i'm uh, going to ask you my final question now i've uh, picked your brains on how it is that you managed to get uh, the d series funding what you did right uh, but you know with every success there is usually at least one failure if not a string of failures so i'm going to make this my final question to all our viewers out there you you know you're being seen as a success story um what is it that you'll want to caution them against so i think there is two things which is very very important uh, for every entrepreneur to be true to himself true to their stakeholders that are going to be investing with them or people that are going to work with them firstly why you are doing it and why are you willing to bet a certain period of your life completely to go after that problem and solve it and i think it is very very important to remain true to that because we see sometimes entrepreneurs might be swayed away by the glamour or the wave effect and might not be truly committed to the problem second thing i think as you get funding i think it is very very important to remember funding is a means to get to an objective it is not the objective so we need to use this uh, funds cautiously and we need to go after solving the problem that we are passionate about all these marky names rahul and this is my final question to you everybody wants to be part of the coveted uh, unicorn club it's a lot based on valuations uh, can it throw light on to after today's funding what your valuations are so it's not a public info we are not a unicorn hopefully in next couple of years we can get there uh, but we are definitely doing our best efforts that uh, we both in terms of adding value to our customers as well as value to our stakeholders we get to unicorn in the coming years
Dargak, wish you all the very best from the team at uh, Startup Central. That's Moglix for you. A masterclass of sorts. Uh, look at uh, the kind of names that he's been able to get on board as investors, whether it's an individual like Ratan Tata or Sequoia, Tiger. You saw the entire name there on the street cred of uh, Moglix. Now, companies like Moglix also have to rely a lot on ESOPs. It's in fact the currency on the startup street.